A pressurized line looks quiet, then stored energy escapes all at once. Never ever stand in front of, beside, or below pressurized piping that has not been fully isolated, depressurized, and verified safe. If pressure exists, distance is the only protection. Pressurized pipes store energy in compressed fluid or gas. When a joint fails or opens unexpectedly, that energy releases as a high-velocity jet. The force follows the path of least resistance, converting pressure directly into directional momentum and displacing anything in its path instantly. Pressure doesn't leak. It releases with force. Isolate, vent, and verify zero energy before approaching any pressurized system. With the line still running at a textile factory, an aisle becomes a danger zone the instant it's entered. Never, ever enter across an active production aisle when tensioned lines and automation are still live. Tensioned threads store energy, and spinning spindles apply a constant pulling force. If a moving line is contacted, multiple strands can engage at once, and the combined pulling force rises rapidly especially on low traction floors. With the overhead unit cycling automatically, the aisle effectively becomes part of the machine while anything is in motion. Treat live thread paths like moving belts. Stop, isolate, verify, then enter. If the line is running, stay out of the aisle and work only from designated safe positions. On a roadside stop, a tanker hatch opens while vapor pressure is still building inside. Never, ever open a tanker hatch in the presence of ignition sources or uncontrolled vapor pressure. If the tank isn't inert and verified safe, the hatch stays closed. A tanker traps pressurized fuel vapor above the liquid. Opening the hatch vents that pressure rapidly, pushing a dense vapor cloud outward along the ground. If an ignition source is nearby, rapid gas expansion can drive force back through the opening, turning the hatch into the release path. Tankers are pressure systems, not containers. Before opening any hatch, eliminate ignition sources, vent correctly, verify the atmosphere, and control pressure. A sliding gate starts to open normally, then gravity takes over. Never, ever stand in the path of a sliding or cantilever gate while it is moving or unsupported. If the gate is in motion, the structure is unstable until fully seated. Sliding gates rely on rollers, tracks, and balance points to remain upright. When a roller slips, a stop fails, or the gate leaves its guide, lateral support is lost instantly. Gravity then becomes dominant, pulling the mass sideways. Because the gate is tall and rigid, even a small base failure can cause rapid collapse. Gates are heavy moving structures, not doors. Stay clear during operation, inspect rollers and stops, and never assume a sliding gate is stable unless it's fully secured. One step too close to a moving lift gate and the rear of the truck becomes a crushing hazard in seconds. Never ever position yourself beneath or between a lift gate and a truck while the platform is unsupported or moving. If the gate isn't mechanically locked, it cannot be trusted. Lift gates depend on hydraulic pressure and hinge geometry to stay elevated. If pressure drops, a valve fails, or the load shifts past its balance point, support is lost and gravity drives the platform downward immediately with no gradual slowdown. Lift gates are moving machines, not steps. Stay clear beneath them, block and lock before entering the zone, and assume gravity is waiting the moment support is lost. A forklift rolls forward with a raised load, and the balance point quietly slips past recovery. Never, ever travel with an elevated or unstable load that shifts the forklift's center of gravity outside its stability triangle. If the load controls the balance, the machine is already lost. Forklifts remain upright only while the combined center of gravity of the truck and load stays within the wheel triangle. A raised or shifting load pushes that point outward rapidly. Wet pavement reduces traction, removing corrective control. Once the center crosses the edge, gravity creates a tipping force the machine cannot recover from. Forklifts don't tip suddenly, they tip predictably. Keep loads low, stable, and close. Slow down on slick ground and never assume recovery once balance is gone. On a shaky ladder platform setup, an AC unit shifts mid-lift and the entire arrangement destabilizes instantly. Never ever lift, pass, or position heavy equipment from a ladder or improvised platform. 
If the load isn't supported by a rated structure, stability is an illusion. The unit's mass shifts outward, creating lateral force. Ladders are designed for vertical loads, not sideways stress, so friction at the feet disappears. Once the center of mass moves past the ladder's base, gravity pulls everything down together. Ladders are access tools, not lifting systems. Use proper hoisting equipment, secure platforms, and keep heavy loads off ladders before gravity dictates the outcome. A row of stone slabs stands upright and silent until one shifts and everything starts to move. Never, ever stand inside the fall zone of vertically stored slabs or panels that are not mechanically restrained. If gravity has a clear path, the material will take it. Stone slabs store danger through mass and height. When one panel tilts, its center of gravity moves past its base, creating a powerful rotational fall. As it drops, force transfers into neighboring slabs, triggering a rapid chain reaction that cannot be stopped once it begins. Vertical storage turns gravity into a loaded spring. Use proper A-frames, restraints, and exclusion zones, and never place yourself where falling mass has only one direction to go. On a dusty worksite, a crane commits to a lift it can't hold, and the boom tells the truth in seconds. Never ever attempt a lift when the load exceeds the crane's rated capacity for that boom angle and radius. Crane limits are defined by load and reach. When the load exceeds capacity for the boom's position, the turning moment overwhelms counterweight and stability margins. Once crossed, no reserve balance remains and small adjustments cannot restore control. Cranes don't forgive overloads. Confirm the load weight, check the load chart for the exact radius and boom angle, and reduce the load or change the plan before the lift leaves the ground. A concrete line stretches over a trench, then stored force turns the cement truck's boom into a falling lever. Never ever position people beneath suspended concrete booms, pipelines, or hoses that are not fully supported and pressure controlled. If gravity and pressure share the same structure, clearance is mandatory. The boom is heavy and the pipeline is loaded. If the base or support slips, gravity takes over and momentum carries the entire structure through a single continuous movement. Concrete booms are machines in tension, not static pipes. Stabilize the base, manage pressure, establish exclusion zones, and keep all personnel clear of suspended lines. Because when support fails, the entire system moves as one.